What I want to talk about today is dredging. I bet many people haven't even heard about what dredging is. Let me try to explain what that is and the purpose of dredging. Dredging is the removal of sediments and debris from the bottom of lakes, rivers, harbors, and other water bodies. It is a routine necessity in waterways around the world because of sedimentation. The natural process of sand and silt washing downstream gradually fills channels and harbors. Dredging is a recurring task that must be addressed on a regular basis. It is like your lawn. The problem will continue to grow whether you pay attention or not. Eventually, the task will need to be completed in order to keep maritime traffic lanes and facilities functional. You're probably wondering what type of equipment is being used in dredging. Let me tell you about two types of uh, dredging equipment used for sediment removal. The first type is a scoop type dredge, which lifts one scoop at a time. The second type is a suction dredge that moves the material at a constant volume. Let me dive deeper into how many types of scoop dredges there are. Bucket dredge. This type of dredge has many buckets that travel along a boom on cables. The boom is maneuvered underwater, so the buckets take a scoop of sediment and travel back to the vessel or barge where they deposit their load. Bucket dredges are able to pick up large rocks and sand. Teeth are placed at the openings of the buckets and dig deeply into the material. This type of dredges is best for long distance like harbor approaches. Next on the list is clamshell. These are what many people think when they're picturing a dredge. These are often used in harbor construction when there are big boulders or difficult material cannot be removed with other efficient designs. The clamshell has two sides that when closed pick up large amounts of sediment, but this process is very slow and used only when necessary. Next one on the list is dipper. It's the same idea as a clamshell with one side that connected to a hydraulic arm. Excavators on large barges are often used as dipper dredges. It is a slower process than a clamshell, but it can fit into the tightest spaces. Next one on the list is suction type dredges. These dredges all use suction to draw water and included sediment into a pipe that empties into a storage compartment fitted with dewatering devices like sips and overflows. The drained sediment is then deposited into a designated area. Basic suction dredges are big vacuum cleaners for sediment. Sorry that everyone uses this example, but it's the most accurate I can find. Some suction dredges come with attachments that pull sediment into a suction pipe and others just use a pipe alone. Next, I wanted to mention about the specialized suction equipment and dredges that I'm not gonna go in depth about. Those are cutter head suction dredge and auger head suction dredge. As you can see, the dredging is an interesting trade, an important one to make sure that waterways, harbors, or future construction project sites are cleared from sand and sediment that allows us to keep things safe for people and marine life. And if you like being on the water and you can see yourself working in this trade, then begin learning and studying this trade and enter this industry. And if you are a dredging company, and interested in partnering with us to promote your business and a company to attract more like-minded people, reliable workers, then reach out to us and let's set up a Q&A session to see how we can help you. Folks, I see a huge gap that needs to be filled and we must work hand in hand to get the desired and beneficial goal for our construction industry by attracting and retaining a new generation of tradesmen. We need more qualified people to build our cities and countries, and I trust we can do it. Come and join us today to start building your career in construction.